For today's Weather Lab experiment, we're looking at weather's impact on America's pastime, baseball, and more specifically, hitting and pitching. And before we start, we need a few things, including a ballpark. I like it. We also need a pitcher. Go along with that pitcher, we need a batter, and of course, someone to shag fly balls, we need an outfielder. Looking good. Okay, first scenario, we're talking cold, dry conditions. Maybe early season at Wrigley Field in Chicago. Maybe Fenway in Boston. This is definitely advantage pitcher. Why? Well, generally in colder air, the pitcher can get a better grip on the ball, and it's dense air too, so that curve will break a little bit more. Maybe that slider's got a little bit more movement. Swing and a miss. All right, but what if that batter actually makes contact in that cold, dense air? The ball won't actually travel as far, so that home run is, well, caught on the warning track. But what about in the middle of summer when it's hot and humid outside? The air's not as dense, but this may be an advantage to the batter. Why? Remember, that pitcher's always going to go to the rosin bag to get good grip on the ball. That curve isn't going to break as much. That slider's not going to have as much movement. Definitely advantage batter. And so that warning track ball, it's now a home run. And whoa, sometimes big home runs. We might have to go to the bullpen. I'm Mike Pettis in the Weather Lab.